Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Just sat on my phone. My phone went in my asshole. Guys, welcome back to the basement yard. Did it vibrate? No, I mean, uh, do you think that'd be cool? I was gonna. Yo, never mind. Never mind. Never uh, mind. Never mind. Did you hear? Um, do you hear people are hacking butt plugs? Hacking? Yeah. Welcome back to the basement yard. Wait, welcome. aren't butt plugs just like rubber? No, 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 no. They have butt plugs that are like electric now. The, the Bluetooth? What you got? Like, listen to music so, into your ass. Thank God I remembered this. I was watching John Oliver, and they were talking about ransomware. You know when people will be like. Your computer is hacked. Send us five hundred dollars, and we'll give you your pictures of your fucking, you know, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> there are like apparently they found like some sort of like way that they there's like electric butt plugs, and like you can join like a social group for butt plugs on the planet, and like I'll be like the key master, and I'll be like I control your butt plug. A random stranger. Yeah. It's like, yo, imagine like... Or like your significant other. You know like those underwear where it's like, oh, I'm going to wear this underwear and then you're going to make me come at dinner. You're it's gonna, like, bro, like, can we? <laughs> yo, chill. Have spaghetti? The last place I want to come is at a fucking TGI Fridays, okay? Seriously, like they're in the... They're in the f- <laughs> They're just in the restaurant. And they're like... <sighs> it's just like... And the guy's just over there on his app just fucking making her like... He's like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, like sitting, sitting there hitting a fucking button while you're trying to order some, you know, endless appetizers. Uh, by the by the way, I don't know about anyone else. I'm very observant. If anyone was in a restaurant with me and a woman's about to fucking ejaculate and a guy's over there fingering his fucking phone, I'd know. Listen, you're not shady. I'm very good at spotting cum faces. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, he, he always has I've, been. I've been very good. <laughs> and if I'm sitting down, again, TGI Friday, I'm a big TGI Fridays fan for Apparently. some reason today. And I look across and I see like. Yeah. Cum face. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you know, like she's trying to eat her. Like if you're trying to eat your spaghetti, and you're going. <laughs> you're you're straight with spaghetti. I'm straight with TGI Friday. <laughs> I'm thinking like Jack Daniel's burger. Like let me get. Whoa. Yeah, it's like thanks. Yeah, so much. yeah. Like you're like yo, take it. The easy, tremble. Man. Like that wouldn't be cool or horny for me. Also, how electric are these fucking underwear that it's making women just like I shake think, out of their seats? I think it's like it looks like underwear, and like there's like a there's a hook. There's like a. <laughs> Is there a hook that it's goes... It's like a tampon-looking hook. Oh, okay. You know, just like a heating pad. And, like, it'll, like, keep it warm, and then it'll, every now and then, just, like, you know? Keep it warm. Yeah, I know. And then it'll just fucking, like... Because it's, like, the internal stuff is, like, horny, but, like, the uh, like on top, like, the topical, yeah, you know, vibration is what gets the girls going. Yeah, I mean, right on top I of that. I this up. The clitoris. But, so then, apparently, there's, like, these butt plugs, where it's, like, you can connect it through an app to the internet... And it could be like, oh, we're all in like a butt plug group, but like Joe is our master. You know how like people will be like, oh, like you're not fucking coming today. Yeah, yeah. And like you'll like control, like we can give you controls of the butt plug. How do you know they're wearing it? Are you just like sometimes you're doing it? I'm like sure in their it's based off of like heat. You know, like I mean, they can help like the internal temperatures. You know, ninety. You're you're coming up with a crisp ninety eight point six. You know it's on. Is it ninety eight point six back there? Well, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, rectal like, thermometer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always feel like my asshole is way hotter than my mouth. Apparently, there's probably you know it just feels hotter back there. It's a hot area. A yeah. lot of stuff. Like going this is on. hot. Don't get me wrong. Like you know, let me touch your mouth. Outside, I'm not gonna put my fingers. No, I don't want you to I'm touch not, me. I'm not. Well, I don't want you to touch me. I'm not putting my fingers in your mouth. Well, it's you have nothing to compare it to unless you're gonna touch my rim. Well, all right, put your hands in your mouth, your own hands right now. In I your don't mouth, like doing that. And underneath, and tell me what feels warmer. I mean, it's definitely hotter it's the bottom. It's the bottom. Well, this is all scrunched together. This is hitting the wind. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, so then apparently there's, like, they can, like, hold it for ransom. They can be like, yo, we're not unlocking your butt plug until you send us $1,000. So now we're getting into multiple layers of fetishism. Isn't that cool, Where it's though? like That's like daddy dom, uh, bank account dom. Bank account dom. Or what's that called? It's called, like... Uh, financial whore or yep, something that's exactly what it like is like daddy slut or something just keep going you, Dude, i mean if you I put mean, the words together you'll eventually find it you eventually hit it. yeah eventually you, know? you hit it but it's like oh shit it's like daddy daddy money dom daddy money dom i don't know man uh, something guy, like that. i think that's got to be it so they want the money and they're like then i'll vibrate your fucking ass but i think like maybe i i'm i'm worried about like if they like expand it to the point where it like can't come out you know? Wait, it opens up this thing? Well, butt plugs, like No, they don't open, bro. Sometimes you could do butt plugs like 
um, where you like pump it full of air and it fucking like increases. Like a pool float? Yeah, you never seen that? Dude, I've never seen an actual. Actually, I have seen a butt plug. We played with one in a Santa Gata Studios video. Yeah, and it had a tail. It had a tail. It had a tail. It did. Go check it out. Santa Gata Studios. YouTube. Would you be okay with that if, if like your significant other was like, yo, I, I want to wear a tail in my ass? Absolutely not. I would be probably okay with that. I don't. Th- because- not when company's over. I can't. People are like, yo, is she a fox or what's well, going on? Well, I wouldn't. Do, like, what are you going to do with it? You stick a butt plug in and then you what? You fucking gaze at it? Like, there's nothing cool about that. I think they just like the pressure back there. I don't. I've had a finger in my ass for medical reasons. Not fun. Right. That's all. Well, yeah, he's an old man. It's not sexual. He was an old Indian man. Yeah. I would assume... And old Indian men, they have cold hands. He told me he was Indian, so that's why I can make that assumption. Well, yeah. I'm not being insensitive. You can tell by the, the coldness <laughs> But, of like, I hands. just, like... T- Actually, Indian men have a, a warmer hand than white men. Possibly. White I, doctors. I, well, because, you know, like, a, a darker pigmentation captures the skin better. Captures the skin? It's science, you know? They say, like, wear black in the sun and you're in big-time troubles. Yeah. It's, I assume it's the same thing with, like, a skin... You know, pigmentation or something oh, like that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's just science. Yeah. I actually had an Indian doctor also. Did you? Yeah, he was the man. My, uh, I don't go to him anymore. I Honestly, I don't go to doctors, period. I probably should. I, uh, you know, I used to be a big time asshole at the doctor when I was a kid. What do you... I need more, Joey. No, because like I would, I would hate it getting throat cultures because, I man, I've said this numerous times. Like uh, my gag reflex is pitiful. Yeah, it's literally pitiful. I could think about touching. Why the back do they of call it throat. a throat culture? Like we just, just say what it is. Like you're shoving a stick down my throat. Yeah, I mean throat culture. Just, I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, the throat culture? It's a throat fucking because I, I couldn't say that word. My my um doctor. He would, you know, just kind of play around back there. I mean, like, I think he was fucking with me. You think there are any, like, porn stars that are just good with throat cultures? Like, I think they're just like, yeah, people. take it. I think, <laughs> I think there's regular people that could just get They can, like, hold the conversation during, a, a, like, a throat culture. Yeah. Also, like, I'm good through my nose, though. Through my nose, you could fucking nail it's just, me in there. It's just, well, hold on. Yeah, my my nose reflex is, like, fine. Um, like, the COVID time, test, I was like. The time that I got tested for COVID, though, it was just, like, it tickled, and I had to sneeze for, like, an hour. Yeah. It, it tickled and I was just like yeah. yeah but once you go through the mouth dude it's a wrap so like I at one time when I was really young I like wouldn't let the doctors give me a throat culture and like I, the, they just wanted to test if I had fucking strep throat or something mm-hmm. and I had one doctor holding one arm another nurse holding this one and then my feet and then there was another one holding my nose so that I was forced to open my mouth and I was holding my breath I was like fuck all yeah, you that sucks yeah and then why I, were you so were you like afraid of the doctor I just didn't like gagging cause every time they like, oh, and I was like yo so if I start gagging right now, will you start to gag? No, that doesn't make me gag. Unless I'm eating something disgusting, then I it wouldn't help. Just like we did in those Patreon episodes, or by just one, just one Patreon episode. Yeah, yeah. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Go check it out now. Uh, we did an episode that came out. By the time you're seeing this, it already came out where we tried some Japanese snacks. Yeah. Some of them, pretty good. Pretty good. Others, really bad. Real not. And we don't even know what they are. So yeah, you can't tell so you. we're we're inching toward ninety five hundred to get over that again, and then uh, ten thousand. We're gonna do something big for ten thousand. We're not sure yet. But we're gonna figure it out. Tell your friends every single previous episode that's on the Patreon, you get access to. So if you can only subscribe for a month, you have thirty days to watch hundreds of episodes, <laughs> and you get every single weekly episode a week in advance. So check it out: patreoncom slash yard. Yeah. Also, uh, I got another DM. From, well, I get these DMs all the time. It's literally like. I would say it makes up 60% of my DMs. Someone recently DM'd me, and they were like, Hollywood Joe won't, won't answer my DM. And I was like, Hollywood Joe? Well, I've also been spending a lot less time on it's Instagram. It's good. We all should. Well, like I said last time, like I've spent a lot more less time on Instagram. Not because, like, I just, I think it just sucks, but whatever. Um, but I did get a DM from someone and I ended up seeing it. And usually, like I said, 60% of my DMs are people being like, this you? And then it's a picture of just a white person. Yeah, I've had one of those. And this one, though, was so funny. Cause, like, a lot, sometimes I'm like, okay, I get why they would say it. And like, it's like a joke and it's funny now. But some of them are literally just a white person who look not like... I'm like, what are you talking they're try- about? They're trying to, you know, capture the, the humor that is Vanilla Joe. One of them that I just got recently, I assume is from a, a gay man. Um, and he goes, this you? And then it's a picture of a guy who looks literally nothing like me. The only thing that we have in common is that we are white and have facial hair. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt yep. that's open. Uh, are, uh, stop where you are. Yep. Already a fan. Yeah, I know you are. You know how I feel about Hawaiians. And uh, then he's wearing no pants and just like tidy whitey underwear, but they're burgundy. Okay, tidy burgundy. Yeah, and it looks like he's got a full chicken in his underwear. Guys, packing away a whole month's worth of meat. Dude, it looks like you took underwear and put your knee in it. <laughs> like it's insane. I don't know if he's just Let got me see like this guy. the fattest nuts. Let me see fat nuts, dude. I'm telling you, it was. Uh, I saw this and I was like, that doesn't look like I would me. Love, but like, I would love to take uh, a survey, not self-report because people will always self-report that they're bigger than they are. But I feel like anytime you see a gay man in anything like like speedos, yeah, or, they've got big old things. They got fat junk. And like, I would say that the gay LGBTQ plus community that have penises, have bigger ones than a sh- straight man. Well, I mean, who's to say? I'm saying. Oh, here it is. Oh, this guy also has like crazy chest hair and a mustache. It's like, I dude, wish I could pull off chest hair dude, and just a mustache. Dude. But Becca said she'd leave me. Look at that. That's... Dude, his balls are fighting in the see, underwear. Let me see those fucking... How? Bro, and those are heavy balls because those are tight undies. Yeah, they're tight, but they're no match for this cock. This is the best picture I've seen all week besides the fucking moose, the moose dick that he has. Dude, this is insane. I don't know, like, I will say, if I had a dick that big, I would take pictures like that, but I don't. Dude, it's crazy what's happening downstairs right now. Like, that's just like... Oh, I got confused for a second. I was like, what's going on downstairs? No, you I'm mean saying, that guy's yeah, downstairs? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. His basement is a party. Yeah. You know, and we none of us got invited. Guy's got a heavy basement. I would say, like, if you if you had a big old big old rocket ship like that, would you take pictures? <laughs> would you take pictures like that? Dude, I don't have like Thirst Trap Joe. I don't have the body for a speedo. You know? Unless I get like obese and you can do it like ironically. Yeah. Then it's cool, but you can't be this like you're you gotta be like ground. in shape. You're in that middle ground that's yeah, like not dude. cool. You need to be yeah. either like a fucking smoke show. Yeah, because it's like yo, either, like if I'm wearing a speedo, it's because I know I look good or because I know this is funny. But when you're just like in between, it's like, do you think you look good or do you think you look funny? Because you, you, you know don't who, look like either. You know who pulled off a speedo? Ahmed. Ahmed pulled off a speedo pretty well. He was yeah, but he was yeah, he was thin. He was thin. And a very, he's shaved, but like after a day, it all came back. It all, it's all coming back uh, to me now, Celine Dion. It's a great song. It's a good song. Um, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm where you are. I'm like not fat enough to be in a Speedo. Mm. I'll put on short shorts that like are clearly too short. I'll let the thigh hit the wind for Sky's sure. out, thigh's out for me. Yeah. I'm going full on thigh. Yeah. That, that was just out of control though. I was terrified of That's that. That's kind of really impressive. I honestly like I'm I'm going to Miami tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and I thought about and I was like buying new bathing suits and I was I was like should I break out a speedo just to be funny or whatever, but then I was like I'm gonna really regret buying this. I would never if I'm if I get to a point where I'm like I'm gonna wear a speedo I don't give a fart what I look like. I better look like Cristiano Ronaldo honestly. No, nah, there's better looking. I mean, he's just like in phenomenal shape. Is he? I would say like yeah. Could all right, but see, it's it's got to be a lean. He's lean, bro. Muscular. Yes. Okay. That that is fine. But like the Rock in a speedo doesn't work. It could. He would look too like. Also, like it would he would lose it. You know. But gay dudes can pull it off. Like bulky gay dudes, they wear speedos, and I'm like this. I'm trying this, to think this. the strongest gay guy I've ever seen. I, I don't. There's a guy that I've seen on TikTok who I'm like, this dude's fucking. Just like strong, really? Yeah, and he's well, he's gay. Wow, I didn't know. I, I, I he's like a power I, lifter. You know what? Joey? I wish I remembered his name. I'm gonna get to a place with my body where I'm like cool wearing a speedo, and I'll wear it on an episode of the show. Maybe next year. You never know. Damn, let those fucking nuts bang around. The nuts would be pack a little uncomfortable. I might need to pack a little bit. You know, like just put like a sock in there or two. Yeah, I gotta pack right now because not right now, but after we record this because. My flight's at 7 a.m. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yikes. Where yeah. are you flying out of? Lagua. That sucks. I mean. That sucks. It's okay. No, Lagua, LaGuardia, for those of you guys that don't know, 
is rapidly becoming the worst airport in New York. What do you mean? They're redoing it. They're redoing it, but getting into it is still a fucking nightmare. Oh, I mean... And it's, it's everything is so short and compact. Do you remember when we flew down to um, Ijami last time we went for Danny's bachelor party? How fucking awful LaGuardia was? No. Yeah, it was miserable, dude. I don't remember, but, you know, what are you going to do, guys? Also, like, I've been seeing these videos now, and I'm worried that I'm going to have a psycho on my flight that's just going to get duct taped to the chair. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, can you please start drinking at like 4.30 in the morning so you could be that person? Uh, yeah. And for those of you guys that don't know what we're talking about, there have been videos of like frat stars. Yeah, people are like, I'm not wearing a mask. It's just like, well, f fuck those people. Well, but, that's why they're getting taped. No, I think it's because they're just like being like drunk idiots. Oh, I thought one was like, I'm not wearing a mask. It was like this whole thing. Maybe, you know, it's like, possible. Yeah. But then like the flight has to like detain the person and they just duct tape them to the chair. Very old school. Very funny. Yeah. Very out of like an 80s like action thriller. Or like a Richie Rich kind of. Oh, you know when they duct when tape he, that guy? And he has the donut. He has like, yeah, like a and Twinkie he's like, or something. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, oh. He's trying to eat that shit. Yeah. I love that movie, man. That's a great movie. That that McDonald's in that place never looked so appealing. I was like, holy shit. Dude, it's so crazy. I want to be a rich kid so bad. Like a child. Like a child. Like a child. Oh, you wanted to be rich no, as a child. No, and also this dude's like a billionaire. His parents have... His, the riches are locked away behind the fucking... Uh, uh, the face of the... What's the that called? Shit. Mount... Uh, Mount not Rushmore. Not, yeah, was Mount Everest. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, Why the fuck would you live in North Dakota, you idiots? No one that is rich lives in North Dakota. I mean, probably, but... Except... Is. But if they are, they own North Dakota. Yeah. Like, there's nothing there that is, like, worth living in. Or there. they have, like, an underground bunker and, you know... Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, these kids are just getting duct taped. And I think it's so fucking funny that, like, that's what they revert to. Because don't they have, like, air marshals on all these flights? Uh, uh, like, they a, have, like, like a plainclothes officer? Yeah, like, just someone that's just like, yeah, I'm flying, you know, I'm flying to uh, Atlanta to go see the good old Paul and Chain. And they're realistic, like, they're honestly just, like, just, like, fucking ready to, yeah. Like, John Rambo. Yeah. Don't they have, like, handcuffs or something? I know they did have handcuffs because there was one time we were going to Miami and Josh was like fucking around on a plane or doing something. I forgot what he was doing, but this was like before we even took off. We're like on the tarmac and he's just like fucking around and the flight attendant comes over and she goes, if you don't stop, we're going to put you in handcuffs. But she was fucking with him. Oh. And he was like, I was just joking. And she was like, ah, me too. And then oh. she just like walked away. So it was like funny. And we're like, you're such a pussy, dude. What the <laughs> But, but then you don't know if she seriously had handcuffs. Yeah, I don't know. I would say the handcuffs would be the smartest thing, Like, but the duct tape is just... Where would you handcuff them to? Just, I mean, those are tight seats. Put them in the middle seat between two air marshals and handcuff them oh, I to see. the seat. Where are they going? They ain't getting up. What if they got to piss? Pee your pants. Pee your pants. Pee your pants. What do you think? They let people piss in jail? You know what I thought about the other day? People have to, you know, shit on planes. I think anyone's ever shit don't tell them without a doubt yeah what is that i can tell you someone that almost has i'll tell you someone who almost has i'll tell you someone who is a perennial i have to piss so bad sir please let me go to the bathroom oh really dude because i have the same ritual i get to the fucking uh airport airport I buy two big ass smart waters. The first one goes down in record time really yeah i like to hydrate i want to know why you do this well, because there was one time that I flew to Vegas, and by the time I got there, I was very—I had a four-hour layover, and I was very dehydrated, oh my God. and I had a crazy headache. And Didn't like, you have a layover in Detroit, Chicago. Oh, um, but I, it wasn't long enough that I could like go out and see the city or anything. But like, I was there, and by the time I got to Vegas, I was like dehydrated as fuck, and I had a crazy headache, and I was like dizzy. I couldn't really walk, so I had to stay in the first night that I was there. So I, from so now, I just slam water. And then I take another water bottle and I keep it on the plane and then I get peanut M&M's and then I get fruit snacks. Or I'll get like a bar. Peanut M&M's are the best version of M&M's. Just want to make sure we all know that. They're great. Also, pretzel M&M's, not good. Not good. Caramel M&M's, even really, worse. Really bad. Even worse. Really disappointing. And I love caramel. Probably the worst M&M. Big time caramel guy over here. Yeah. Those M&M's, they're like, it like falls apart in your mouth. It's like brittle. It's like it's disgusting. Um, but... Yeah, so I get peanut M&M's, fruit snacks, and then I get on the plane. So, like, sometimes my bladder's like, bro, now, 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 now. 
And usually that happens. You just got to do the way I do it. I, I can't tell you how many times, I hope there are no cops watching this, how many times I've pissed in, while driving in the car. You just figure it out. I can't piss on a plane. Yeah, you can. Just get a bottle. You got to get a Gatorade or Are something. Are you insane? With a, something with a big tip. Frankie, I'm not worried about the size of the tip. I'm worried about pissing on a public plane, and then that's like a sexual offense. Joey, listen to me. First that's of indecent all, exposure. First of all, that's up in the air. There's no airtime laws. Up in the air, whatever happens, Definitely happens. laws in the air. About peeing? About pissing in just front put, of people. Just put a little blanket over your dick and like play it cool. This is what I do when I, sometimes when I'm in the car and I need to like pee. So I just like, you know... None of those hands are driving. I know. I use my knees or I pull over. And, um, or sometimes you hold the bottle with one hand and you use your thumb to point the tip into the bottle <laughs> and you pee. And like Gatorade bottles are good for it because big old wide open boy, you pure leaf tea. I'm worried about fluid ounces. Well, I tend to take fat you, piss. I, my peas are fat. You hear them. Sometimes, yeah. I need to pinch. You need to pinch it off and just ho- save it for the later. Frankie, I'm incapable of that. No, you could do it. No, I can't. You do get a little bit on you because as you're shoving your dick back in, there's like whatever's left still. It's like one in the chamber, you know? It like leaks out. Frankie, I can't. You can stop a piss in the middle of a piss. Yeah. I could do it for like a second. There's a bottle of pee in my car right now, baby. Is there? Yeah. Go get it. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. I don't want to see it. It's it's. Uh, Is it filled to the brim? It's pretty close. I, I actually cut it real close this morning. I like. <laughs> I stopped myself. I was like, oh shit, because you got to remember it's the angle too. It's not straight up like this. Your angle peeing like that, so it like fucking creeps toward you, and uh, I almost got I almost got a big old mess in my car. You pissed in a in a cup this morning? Bottle. What kind of bottle? Pure leaf tea. That's not a lot. Of, that's twelve ounces, I think. That's okay. I let out what I can, and I hold the rest, and then I get here, and just another fat boy. I don't even... <laughs> I don't... I would pee... Uh, if... You think they would figure out how to piss in a car? Bro, don't get me started. Why don't we have toilet... Like, pe- like driver's seats that are toilets? Some sort of, like, bag that I could pee in. Not even just that, but, like, something that, like, I don't need to pull over. Like, like, a, like, a, like a catheter or something, you know? And, like, put, like, a little bidet in there. So, like, you got a Range Rover. You have a fridge in your car. Why can't they put something that wipes your ass in there, too? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is absurd. Oh, I actually had the opportunity to use this bidet, and I didn't. When? When I was in the Hamptons, they had one. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll have one in Miami. Aren't you going on a yacht? Yeah. If they don't have a bidet on a yacht, get your money back. Yeah. That's true. I gotta look into that. You should. <laughs> I'm just trying to spray this butt. I'm honestly afraid. You should get. You can. You know. You can buy toilet seats that are bidets. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You should I, get one. I. I don't know. Why not? Because I, I don't know if I'd like it. Listen, from someone that has done it quite a bit. Yeah, but I have a sensitive aim. So do I. You know, I have a sensitive asshole. It, but it it really really works. Like, it's an extra level clean. Like, you know when you're, like, consistently, like, you're sitting on the toilet and you're just like, you know, no, no matter what happens, I'm getting up and I'm dirty. I can sit here for an hour and I feel gross. Baby wipes or whatever. It's like taking a fucking hose and, like, spray cleaning your ass. I know. Because when you think about it, it makes the most sense. Because I forgot who was saying this, but it's like, if you got shit on your hand, you wouldn't just take paper and go, done. Yeah. You would, like, get water and, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when you think about it like that, that's disgusting. If anything, you're like rubbing it farther in. You're like getting it in the crevices. Yeah, I'm, you're like mashing it. Mashito, mashito, mashito. <laughs> you're mashing shit into the fucking like nooks and crannies of your asshole. You're probably honestly getting some shit on your balls too. Balls? Yeah, you ever hit your balls on the way? So you're wiping the wrong way. Um, is it? You're wiping towards your balls? I don't know what... I'm... I I, I guess I go with the <laughs> direction of the wind. The wind? Yeah. You're wiping down. Yes. <laughs> I, I, like, do it with disgust, too. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like... You, you go... No, no, no. You, like... I, like... And, like, throw it into the toilet. 
one foul swoop. One just. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Where are my fucking other people out there, huh? The one wipe disgust throw. The disgust throw, yeah. So, like, it's like this. It's literally, it's like this. So, you take it, you crumble up, and you just. Like you're trying to start a fire. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh man. And it gets the job done. Well, uh, you only do one swoop. No, a, a couple. Couple swoops. A couple swoops. And you ball it up. You don't like fold it like we're doing These origami. These people that are folding something folding? to wipe their ass. Who's got time to fold? Fucking, you might as well wipe your ass with gossamer, you weirdo. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Gossamer? Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> no. Well, I actually, it might also be, but it's like, um, it's like a, a fine fabric. It's like a fancy person's fine fabric. Handkerchief? It's like that, but... Is it handkerchief or handkerchief? Um, you know, who cares? The whites. Gossamer <laughs> is a fine, filmy substance consisting of cobwebs spun by small spiders. So you were off. <laughs> Expensive though. Spider webs it's used to refer to something very light, thin, and, and insubstantial or delicate. You don't know what gossamer is. You thought it was a fabric. It's, it's like a f- cobwebs. I mean, it's it is a fabric. Cobwebs. Cobwebs is a fabric. Just show, show me one person who isn't a witch who's wearing cobwebs. Uh, there's a sh- there's a store called Gossamer. Um, for a person that's not a witch. I- but, like, anything, like, silk comes from the asshole of, like, a fucking caterpillar, and that's a fabric. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a silk. silk spider or silk uh, worm? Silkworm. Gonna... <laughs> silkworm. Let me be very clear. I don't know what silk is. Silk comes from a worm. I know what it feels like, but I don't know what it's made I'm of. I'm pretty sure silk comes from a worm, and then it's, like, that's why it's so expensive, because it's, like, hard to get. From worms? Is there a worm shortage? I, I would assume You know what's so. bullshit? Diamonds. Them being so much money, there's mad diamonds. Yeah, but they're hard to get. Bro, get diamonds. Silk is a natural protein fiber, which can be woven into textiles. Yeah, it's <laughs> produced by certain insect larvae to form cocoons. <laughs> yeah. So we're just wearing fucking, like, just like metapod cocoons on us. It's kind of tight. It is, right? <laughs> It's like a fabric. It's like cobwebs. It is. I mean, technically, if you consider silk a fabric, then it's also a fabric. Yeah, I walked through mad fucking cobwebs recently. <laughs> mad gossamer. No, yeah, fucking in Connecticut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just walking through cobwebs every five there seconds. There are a lot there. of cobwebs over there. A lot of spiders. You see this thing on my head? I think a, a spider bit my shit. If a spider bit your head, you'd be in. You'd have a big fat problem on your hands. Why? Uh, because they, like, rot your skin. <laughs> no, they don't. People get spider bites. Bro, there are certain spider bites that yeah, are like... certain spider bites. You'll like lose your hand. It like blows up and like turns brown and then no. like turns had, inside I out. I had a giant bump on my head and then it went down and now it's like this little bead. Oh boy. Yeah. That might be a problem. No, no, no. We're on the, we're on the other end of it. If you... Fuck. If you become Spider-Man, just please like oh my. swing me around. <laughs> what? Would you swing me around? Yeah. Cool. All right. First of all, bro, if I was Spider-Man, right, mm-hmm. and I had that ability, Gossamer, let it go. <laughs> um, definitely wouldn't be like, let's see if I can hang from a building. You, you got to get there. You got to work your way up. Yeah. I mean, it was like literally an afternoon that I'm he like, figured out how to do it and was swinging from the Empire State. Yeah. I was like, hey, Spidey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like starting in this room. Make a little hammock. Figure it out. Uh, but then like I will jump from building to building. I wouldn't even – if I had that ability, I wouldn't even be like, oh, I want to fight crime with this. Like I would just do dumb sh- – I would just be like, cassette, cassette, whatever the fuck. What was that? It's like <laughs> – Gotcha. If you elongate that, it's cassette. Oh, okay. If you slow it down. I, I think in the comics, it's thwip. Thwip. I can see that. I think a thwip is better. Hmm. No. I'm saying, like, if I was Spider-Man, first place I'm going is, like, under a bridge. Because, like, I fall in the water. I could swim, you know. I'd be okay. Oh, to, like, get better at just, it. Like, just, like, that would be cool. You know, because, like, you're just, like, going under the bridge and, like, you know, you've never been under a bridge, you know? Not yet. Well, there you go. That's <laughs> right. 
You put your mind to it, I'm sure you can get there one day. I've been under a bridge, actually. Where? Um, Story of Park. Yeah, but that's like the, the beginning of the bridge. Like, you want to be under, like, the middle part of the cool part of the bridge. Oh, like, yeah, I guess. You know? And then, like, you can, like, swing to the top of it and, like, swing... Oh, man, I'm getting excited becoming Spider-Man. <laughs> never going to happen. Though. I would never... You never know. Never say never. Maybe they could... Yo, do you oh, think one never. day, like, modern technology would ever get to the point where we can create superheroes? I... If it does... I'm not getting created into being a superhero. Me neither. They're I'll going t- for the big money like you. No, I'll be too old. What? By the time this comes around, I'll be fucking like 80. Oh, you think it's going to take that long? What, do you think we're going to get it tomorrow? We're going to have superhumans? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I do have some ads. Let's hear them. Let's, let's get to the ads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay. Uh, the first one we have here is... BetterHelp. BetterHelp. Uh, BetterHelp is online counseling. You start communicating just under 48 hours. If you want to do some therapy, I know the pandemic's been uh, pretty tough on some people, and they want someone to talk to. BetterHelp is a good uh, way to get um, an introduction to therapy and kind of stick with it. Um, It is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Uh, It's available for clients worldwide. Um, and they will hook you up. Like I said, in, in under 48 hours, you can start communicating um, any way that you want through text, phone, or video chat, or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, um, and you can also get 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com yard, okay? Join over the million people that have taken control over their mental health uh, with BetterHelp. So betterhelp.com yard, you will get 10% off of your first month. Um, definitely check it out. I mean, I've been in therapy for almost two years now. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Actually, no. Almost like a year and change, um, and it's great. I think that everyone should do it, and you know, whatever. But uh, BetterHelp.com/yard, ten percent off your first month. Definitely go check them out. Um, next here we have Evive. Okay, uh, Evive is cool uh, because it's easy, quick, and it's delicious. It's a blender-free uh, smoothing uh, smoothie that it, that provides plant-based proteins and nutrients. Uh, to keep your motor running, okay? So I, I like to do something like this. I know Frankie does like teas and he does juices and things like that. So this is right up both of our alleys. Uh, it, you know, you want to eat healthy. The blenderless smoothies are bursting with high quality ingredients, organic fruits, vegetables, and all your favorite superfoods. Um, it's entirely plant-based. Um, so basically, it's a three-step blender-free smoothie. Uh, it's easy, quick, and nutritious. Uh, You know, there's no sugar added, no artificial flavors or preservatives. It's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, certified organic, all the things across the board. Um, But yeah, so if you want to place an order, you pick between 12, 24, or 36 product bucks. Um, Select your favorite smoothies. Um, They have great tasting ones. They have like this mango one that is like amazing. Um, But yeah, so you run, um, so to prepare it, you basically like, you know, run the wheel under water for a few seconds, pop the cubes in a bottle or mason jar, cover the cubes with your favorite liquid. So like oat milk or almond milk or cold water or whatever you want juice. And then you let it melt uh, for 20 minutes and then you just shake it up and boom, you're good to go. Um, but yeah, they're great. Like I said, high quality ingredients, superfoods, vegetables, organic fruits and everything. Um, you can order online with the code the basement yard 20 and get 20% off and free delivery right to your door. Uh, visit the site evive nutrition spelled e-v-i-v-e nutrition.com um and yeah use the code it's it's the basement yard 20 you get 20 percent off with free delivery right to your door um again that is e-v-i-v-e nutrition.com and the basement yard 20 is the code 20 percent off with free delivery okay and uh lastly here we have manly bands Okay, Manly Bands offers your hand the freedom to look how you want it uh, in just about every type of earthly material imaginable, okay? These are for, like, wedding bands for men, okay? Uh, Because for the women, obviously, you go out and you get some diamonds or whatever, and for the men, it's a little more, like, easier or whatever. It's not paid attention to as much. Um, With this, you can get, like, custom ones. Um, You could pick. You can customize it. uh, You know, they make it easy. I mean, to start... You get the manly uh, ring sizer to ensure that your ring will fit perfectly during work and play. Once you know your size, it's time for the fun part. Uh, Manly Bands has an insane selection of materials to choose from. Gold, wood, antler. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Steel, dinosaur bone? Uh, uh, Or even uh, the meteorites. 
that killed the dinosaurs. Okay, so you can pretty much get anything you want on this ring. Um, and if you're free and more creative, you can customize your band from scratch, choosing the style, material, uh, the inlay, the sleeve, and the finish. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're getting married anytime soon and you and you and you want like a cool, sick, customized uh, wedding band. This is where you're going to get it, folks. Okay, to order your manly band and get 20% 21% off uh, plus a free silicone ring, go to manlybands.com slash basement. That is manlybands.com slash basement for 20%, 21% off uh, manly bands. Okay, so go check them out. Uh, also, free shipping worldwide uh, and a 30-day exchange policy with a free warranty. Okay. Um, so go check it out. So manlybands.com slash basement, 21% off of your manly band. All right, go get some sick bands, folks. Boom. That's it. Uh, I have a question really quick for you. Um, Am I getting yelled at? Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to set the scene. You're going to explain to me what the fuck happened. Boxers, pair of socks, crumbled up tissue, at the base of your computer. Crumbled just up tissue. Oh uh, yes. Just confirm that you were jerking off. No, no, no. I don't jerk off there. Where do you jerk off? Not on that computer. On your you use your laptop that you use for that. Or we go we go mobile. You go mobile. You're mobile jerking it. So you're jerking it on the toilet. No. What? What do you? Where are you going then? My bed. Sometimes the couch. Stop, I sit on that couch. I don't I, jerk off onto my couch. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Your fucking asshole is out. Or do you pull your dick through your fucking ring? My ring? Through the little the hole? No, I ne ew, what? So what do you do? You do that. I do it to pee. That's so dumb. That's what it's made for. Yeah. Literally, that's what it's made for. Okay. So what why is why explain the boxers uh and the socks. Cause those are worn. What? The boxers. Yeah, they are. Um, I think I was just sitting there because this room gets hot. You know that. It does. It does get very hot. So sometimes when I'm out mm -hmm. and then I have to come home and like do something real quick, like upload something or check, blah, 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 blah. I'll come in here and I'll sit there and do whatever I have to do. And it's hot as fuck in here. So I'll start sweating and be like, I need to take a shower. And I'll just strip right there. Just right there. Right there. Right there. Just strip. Right there. And then you go right into the bathroom and shower. Yeah. I've also done that. Like, I'm, like, weird when it comes to showering. Like, in my apartment, it's, like, because I live alone. Yes. So, whenever, wherever I decide I'm going to shower now, clothes come off. Oh, so, like, you are you don't care who's... Well, you're on the top floor of penthouse. Hello. You're just getting <laughs> naked wherever you are. Living room. I'll be like, well... You know what's crazy is that there are times I've come over the RFK bridge and I can see your place and I'm like, yo, if I had binoculars, I could see in here clear as day. Probably. And I would see... I don't really... I'm not careful in here. You don't care. I mean, it's not that I don't care. I just don't think that... Like, the chances of someone seeing... I think about that all the time, too. Like, I've walked... You, you know how my house is. I, I don't have shades or anything on the front on the front uh, door. door or the front window. Yeah, but you don't like dick out in the living room? There's some times I walk right dick out right into the kitchen, grab something, come back. I don't care. Nice. I don't care. I mean, there's babies afoot. Yeah, she's you think I'm walking around with my daughter just like hanging out? No. no. What about Miles running around? It's at night. I don't do it during the day. You're taking a big risk. What if he gets a nightmare? <laughs> I don't care. He's going to have two uh, nightmares. He's going to have <laughs> two, and a, two and a half nightmares. Well, yeah. one and a half nightmares. Well, yeah. Not that big of a nightmare. <laughs> Not that big of a problem. Uh, but uh, speaking of nightmares, I actually, there's there's a new development uh, in, in in our home possession. Oh, Demon Time? Yeah. So the day that I told you about it, because remember, that was the day that, it, that, that Demon Time happened. Yes. I went home, slept that night. More demons? Uh, no, but Becca did wake me up at 2 a.m. because she said she heard the doorbell ring. The doorbell. Yes. She's like, I, in my sleep, I heard ding dong. And I was like, that might have just been in your sleep. And she's like, no, go check. And I checked. No one there, thankfully. She said, don't go out. She's like, peek around. So I was like, at fucking 2 a.m., like, have a sleep, like, trying to find. <laughs> but then I realized someone, someone that I don't remember, sorry, on Instagram reminded me. Do you remember what Becca brought home back in fucking January? Your child? Well, no, that was February. Okay. 
That fucking little wooden doll. That's right. That she found it like at, on like a riverbank. A riverbank. A washed up on the shore. It just fucking came from who knows where. A devil child threw it into the water. And since then, we shortly thereafter moved into our place. Ghosts. Demons. Demons. I mean, actually, can... that's a pretty long ago. Do you think there's an actual connection? I mean, maybe it takes. Maybe they gotta get comfortable. Maybe they need to move in too. They need to get their stuff in there. They need to pack up their old place. Like, yeah. We're not haunting you guys anymore. Yeah, like, like, fine, we get it. Yeah. You know. Uh, and then they're like, let's go to the new place. Do you still have? Do you know where it is? This thing? The demon? No, the fucking. The oh, thing. it's it's on display in our living room. Oh, why did she do that? Like, what a she, fucking weirdo! It's so funny that like it. <laughs> Why did she be like, oh, I found a little doll. I'm going to bring this home. Like, I found it? a carved doll from no idea, washed up on the shore. Let's just put it on display in my home. Also, For like, someone that's so fucking spiritual, babe, that was stupid. Dumb. <laughs> also, not only that, but someone's going to go, oh, that's interesting. Where'd you get that? And she's just going to go, found it. That's, that's and they're going to go, why the fuck did you put that, it in your house? Listen. I don't think I feel like we've gone away from this idea too much because like now movies like make it like cool to be a mummy and a monster, but like back in the day, let's be clear: you find something, you you either dig it up or it washes along the shore. Leave it unless it's a note. Nope, you don't want to read it. You don't want to read it because it's gonna be something sad. Like I died. Yeah. You if, know? if you're reading this, it's too late. I'm like, well, fuck that. <laughs> too late, I already read yeah, it. Yeah, I think if you read demon messages, then the demon lives in you. I think that's how that I works. I think, yeah, if you open the bottle. It's like Pandora's bottle. You know, not the box. Yeah. But, like, it's Pandora's bottle. You open it, then you see, like, the... <gasps> yeah, You know, yeah. like, the spirit, like, screams out. Yeah, like, screams. And then it, like, goes into you. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a horror movie. It needs a different host. That's a horror Like, for instance, I saw... Um, my, my friend sent it to me. Uh, they found, like, a buried mask... And they were like, oh, cool, let's take this out. Guys, dig a deeper hole and throw it in there. Put it back in there farther. And cover it in concrete. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to... Why are we, like, unearthing this stuff and being like, this is so cool? You know what I don't think is awesome? You know when people make those, like, time capsules? Mm. Where it's like, ooh, we're going to write a note and we're going to put, like, a, a Snickers bar and then close it and we're going to drill it into the earth and, like, maybe someone will find it one day. Why the? Why do you think I give a fuck? There's one that yeah they, they they do that all the time where they're like in 30 years we'll open this time you know what you put in it yeah and like it's the internet now you know like you don't need to remember Game Boys everyone remembers Game Boys yeah they're everywhere still uh but I, if you would put a time capsule like right now what would you put in it I guess like a phone not my phone. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, I just... Would you write a letter to your future self? And say what? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Well, I think that the idea of that kind of stuff happening is getting less and less appealing because you could just go back and look how fucking stupid you were. <laughs> like, on your, if you scroll over. far back enough on Instagram... I saw an Instagram post that I put up a while ago, and the caption was like, if you knew how bad I wanted it, then you would know it's only a matter of time. Mm-hmm. And it was me just like facing a sunrise. And I'm like, what a fucking idiot. What? Like, can you imagine that I wrote that in a time capsule and then forgot about it? And then 40 years later, I opened it and that was the thing? I'd be like, I, I, what a fucking asshole. Think about it like this. Think about who you were at the age of 15. <sighs> what would you put in a time capsule? And then what would you open up and be like, that was really dumb? A smoke bomb? Oh, a fart, fart bomb. Fart bomb. Fart bombs. We guy a tree deli, get a couple fart bombs, put those bad boys in there. Yeah. Big fat problem. I wonder if everyone had fart bombs. I had the glass one when I was in Oh, those were disgusting. Those those smelled like big time farts. Yeah, those smell like crap. And I uh I remember I threw it on the ground in a park and two uh people that we knew at the time like threatened me. Like they were like gonna jump me because of how it smelled. Who was it? Uh, Dunbar and uh, Deus. <laughs> that's a combo. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite the combo. They were like, yo, it smells like shit. You want to fucking jump him? And I was like, <laughs> For real? I swear to God. And I was like, I was confused. <laughs> also, didn't know. I didn't know them that well at the time. So I was like, fuck, am I going to get my ass Oh, So we all met each other, kind of? This is when he was known as Boston Nick. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, Should we jump? 
I was like, am I going to get beat up here? <laughs> oh, man. I used to, you know what I was obsessed with when I was younger? First of all, being a ninja, right? But also, like, no, yeah, like, ninjas had mad skills. Like, I wish, I wanted to be good with a sword. Um, but one thing I was, like, obsessed with was when ninjas would just be, like, chilling or whatever. And then all of a sudden they get outnumbered and they're kind of like, oh, damn. And then they take that smoke bomb and they throw it on the ground and it just like disappear. Mm-hmm. Bro, I wanted to learn how to do that so bad. I will say that my favorite pyrotechnic was a smoke bomb. I am with you on that. You light it. So like, I don't know if anyone knows this, but like, so there's these smoke bombs that like, let's just say it's blue. It's a blue circle with a wick on it. You light it. And then once it gets here, it just starts going. And it's like mad smoke. There was one, I, I remember I, I traveled... I mean, they have them out there. I, like, traveled south uh, for the winter like a fucking duck. Like a bird? Yeah. <laughs> I remember, and then there was a store called South of the Border. It was, like, in, like, North Carolina or South Carolina or something like that, and it was, like, a fireworks store. And I bought smoke bombs, but they were sticks, and mm-hmm. they were, like, this big. And I remember at the lake house, I, I lit it and threw it in the lake. Yo, a lot of smoke. Like... A lot of even smoke. underwater. It, well, it didn't go underwater. Oh. It like laid on the top, and it was just like, dude, it was a lot of smoke. Was though. your dad pissed off? My dad, he didn't give a fuck. He was like, huh. I used to do that when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to take it though, and I would like do graffiti with it. Yes, I remember that. Because if you get close enough to a wall, it like it would like paint it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that was you. I never went spray paint. Joey though. was a big time graffiti and bubble letter boy. I never did graffiti. You were like, but you could write in that like graffiti. Oh yeah, I could. Yeah, I could do it. And were, at one point, I was like, "Yo, this is fire. This is my tag." Yeah, I wish I remembered what it was. Your, t- I remember you did Joe Mud. No, I never did that. You did. That Joe was my Mud. screen name. But yeah, I, but you also called yourself Joe Mud. I, Frankie, I never called myself. You that. said, "Hi, I'm Joe Mud." Frankie, you're making this up. Look at you smirking. Why the mud? Did I ever ask <laughs> that? I, I think I said it before, but I was at my cousin's house and and. They were we were making screen names for the first time, and I was like, "Oh, like Joe, like Joe Dirt, but like Joe Mud." That was my whole thinking. <laughs> you nailed that, dude. I was Fax De Great three thousand. We've talked about this. Yeah, little Colombian pimp. Fax two eighty. Fax two eighty. There was also one that was a, an ill fated one that didn't last long. Killin' Kid. Killin' Kid. Killin' Kid. Because I was always killing it. Oh. I was the kid that was always killing it. Right. You know, so it was... Well, k- naturally. K-I-L-L-E-N, kid. Oh, kill-in. Kill-in, kid, 730. Yeah. I remember my sister's was little, with Ds. Obvious. Little, sexy. <laughs> little sex. Sexy spelled... S-E-X-C. I-I. I uh, gotcha. So. Also, Usher lyrics stayed in my bio. Mine was... I remember my bio... It's, people used to get mad at me because they couldn't read it. It was like... Red background with fucking lime green lettering, and it was like you couldn't fucking <laughs> read it. And it was always like owned by, you know, taken by. Why do we do that? This is this is faux. Uh, these are my peeps. Yeah, peeps was a big peeps was a, a big one. Um, other ones, you know, like it, it was very stupid. I don't know why, but like we used to do this thing on MySpace where. I mean, everyone did it, but for people who didn't have MySpace, we used to do this thing where it's like, people would own your pictures. Yeah. Like, it was just so random. They'd be like, yo, who wants to own this? And then people would be like, yo, I'll own it. It was really not us. It was girls. No, yeah. No one wanted to own my fucking picture. No, I I, I never really asked to be owned. No one cared (laughs) for my pictures. Right. Like, it never happened, but like, girls would be like, would have a caption at the end of it. It would be like, you know... Poppy nine one ten owns this. Yes, and you're like, who's this Poppy nine one ten? And why does he own that? Yeah, what what does that mean? What is? I don't know. Oh, is the rights to it? Well, I know IP? We, we recently spoke about this on on uh, on a weekly episode, but like, boy, oh boy, that those those MySpace days were hot and heavy. They were interesting, man. I remember we used to comment back and forth, like for like our football games, like our rec football games. It'd be like, this is what we been waiting for. Yeah. This is for the marbles. <laughs> this is for the marbles. If you can go back and give me three songs that you think encapsulated your MySpace days, what would they be? Uh, they'd be all over the place. One would be White Tea, which just had an anniversary. Oh, boy. It was like 20 years ago, I think. Yup. No, so, I think it's 15. 
or so like 15 years ago, them franchise them franchise boys white tee. No, 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 dem dem franchise boys franchise white tea. boys. I also remember my first ever MySpace song was uh, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood, them and yeah, everything. Yeah. Huh. That's a good song. Um, but then also it would be like, um, I, I uh, uh, over my head by the fray was like on my. What song is that? Everyone knows I'm in. That was your MySpace song? Bro, yeah. Wow. Yikes. You know why? Big yikes. Big yikes. Big time. Because Tiggy, it was hers. And I was like, oh, and I had a huge fat crap crush on her. (laughs) (laughs) That a big fat crap crush on her. That was her song. So I put it as mine. I was like, yo. Big old crap crush. By the way, I don't know how, what connection I was trying to make with that. But like, it didn't work. Well, I, I would say, all right, so I would say Laffy Taffy by D4L. Well, yeah. That, would be that right. was mine. Uh, Something Soldier Boy, probably. I, I was never a big Soldier Boy guy. No? I was never a big Soldier Boy guy. Everyone had, like, the glasses with their name written on them. Yes, I didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, Shake Dat Laffy Taffy. Duh. Yeah. Goom, goom, ging, doom. Like, that still gets you Laffy Taffy. That song is fire. Um... I would say, uh, and then what was my first song? And then what? Yeah. Damn, that song is hard. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. And then what? Uh, oh my god. And I would say toward the, the tail end, I was a big Viva La Vida fan. Coldplay. Oh yeah, you were. Hang, 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 <laughs> hang, 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 hang. I the world. These horizon and I gave the world Now in the morning I see below See the streets I used to own Hun, 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 Yeah, that's all fucking slap. It does, it does, it does. Uh, but those would be the three. What was like your picture picture? Like what was like your the picture you were known for? I think I remember yours. It was you and Portobello with like a wife beater on. You were like... No, mine was a fire picture. Dude. Really? Like the best picture I've ever had in my life. What was it? It was at St. Mike's. We were playing soccer in Chelsea. Oh. Co- that, yeah. That oh, one, that picture's looking, hard. Where you're looking off like that. Yeah, Chelsea edited that, and I was like, damn, this shit is fucking smoking. That sounds like it's smoking. It is. It was. I remember that because she took pictures of all of us, and she took one of me where I was going like this with the football. Didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. Um, boy, oh, boy. I know we re- literally just spoke about this on the last episode, but I need to try to get in to my uh, my old stuff. Can you do it a different time? We're I, in the I, middle of something. I know, I know, I know, I know. Frankie, we're in the middle of something. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. What do you think your pass? Do you think your password is like something ridiculous? There was a point in time where my password was one letter, a uh, one word, uh, like with the spaces in between the words. So I guess that's not one word; that's multiple words. It was Joey is gay. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Joey space is space gay space. Space at the end. Oh, no. No space at the end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And um, Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Because I know you attempted to get into your MySpace. Mm-hmm. I got into my MySpace. With that password? I Oh, no. I couldn't get in. I saw my MySpace, though. Oh, I'm saying, did you try to use that password? Uh, no, maybe I should. Well, maybe someone's going to beat you to the punch. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That's so. okay. I, I don't, I don't think that would be the, the password that I had used at the time. Yeah. But if it is, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Incensey. Uh, very incensey. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> but yeah. Um, also, one thing I wanted to talk about because I'm just like, what is going on? Um, I saw this thing online where, here it is. A piece of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's decade-old wedding cake was auctioned off to a royal fan for two thousand dollars. That's older than a decade. I, uh, is it? Yeah. Princess wait. Diana died in ninety-seven. Oh, decades, decades okay, old. Okay, I was gonna I say that's a weird way of telling time. Yeah, decades just say, old. Just say thirty years old. Yeah, just put a number to it, bitch. You eating it? Are you fucking crazy? Would you? No. Why not? It's a cake that's decades old. Okay, it's all cooked was now it has accumulated bacteria it's all good for you there's a lot of icing on it it doesn't look like they have a picture of this cake cake. they do let me see it it's very royal it's got like a family crest on it like that's what i imagine a royal cake wait a second that's a piece of it no that's that is the cake that's an ugly fucking cake let me see that shit i'm sure it looked a lot better 
fucking 30 years ago. Dude. Yeah, but but that looks like shit. Yo, if that was my cake, I would be pissed. It looks like the Lannister's banner is on it. Yeah, who would... I would have to eat a piece. I'm not eating that. I would have to. No. And why do they have a piece like that big? Like, that seems a little fishy to me, no? I also don't... Yeah, like, why are we keeping the whole cake? Yeah, who kept that? It was like, yo, keep that cake. For 30 years? Where does this cake go? Well, if, like, there was someone that, like, went and they were like, yo, I got this cake. I'm, I'm going to bring it home and just, like, put it away and never eat it. Maybe. Why? What a weird know. thing. I don't know. I don't know. This stuff is very confusing, Joey. People make things... Stupid decisions all the time. Also, when you're buying a $2,000 slice of cake, what are you going to do with it? I mean, there are collectors out there. You'd have to get like a refrigerated box for it, right? You, you got people come like, over and like, oh, see this? That's a cake from the royal wedding 30 years ago. How do you know? Like that, I, there's got to be, I need a certificate of authenticity. I'm sure there's pictures and stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if there are pictures. Like they need to be like, who baked it? Can they confirm that they were the ones that baked it? And all that stuff. You're not wrong, by the way. This doesn't look like the coolest cake ever. Bro, if that was my cake, yo, that There's like jewelry on it. That doesn't look royal enough to be a wedding, like royal wedding cake. Yeah, I need honestly, to see like some doilies on there. It's also not that big. Like you would figure they would have like a tower. In yeah, cake. why would they have like a small ass like fucking Baskin Robbins cake? Yeah, it look it just looks like a like a regular cake. That is, I'm, something's not right here. Like a sweet sixteen cake. And any weddings cakes that you would want? No. Really? I'd want to see, like... People who get those cakes that are, like, 15 layers. I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, the, the big-ass, like, tall cakes like that, like those wedding cakes, don't make sense to me. I think there's a lot of traditions about weddings that are fucking dumb. Go ahead. All of them? Okay, <laughs> like what? One. Engagement rings, then wedding rings, then a $100,000 party. Well, it doesn't need to be $100,000. $40,000 party on average. On, I, okay, maybe. You could do the lighter end, like uh, an insane fee for photographers. That is correct. That is ridiculous. But I will say they earned that money. Do you remember the photographer at my sister's wedding? Well, of course they, they were do. fucking running back and forth. But I'm saying like all these things are just like, what do we do? It is. It is stupid. I to pay a hundred dollars per person. That is a, a bit much. All of it is realistically like the bar. The bar is where they get hit the most. You know what I mean? Like they need to buy a lot. The bar? Yeah. What do you mean? The open bar? Yeah. That's where, like, most of the price comes from. From Take it from someone that had a fucking wedding, dude. Or <laughs> tried to have a wedding. First of all, I'm pretty sure a lot of venues do venue, food. That's the bulk of it. Yes, but what I'm saying is a, major a lot of the times, the reason that it's so high is because people want open bars. And that's where a big portion of the price comes in. Let me just say this. Usually, I don't take a super hard stance on something, but here it goes. Weddings are open bar. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't do cash bar. If you think I'm showing up with a lot of cash for the bar at your wedding, you fucked up. If you have a cash bar, my gift to you is me drinking from that bar and having a good old grand old time. Yeah, I'm going to throw up on your dress. <laughs> yeah, you can't do... I went to like events in college where it was like, oh, cash bar. And it's like, this sucks. Yeah. What this are we sucks doing? so much. Don't do cash bar. Because guys. then you don't tip anyone. I would rather have an open bar than a wedding. I'd rather. <laughs> I, I would too, honestly. Like, keep the venue. We'll do it in a hut, in a yurt, under a tent. What's a yurt? It's like a teepee. But there you could put stuff in it. Oh, is that where they like. Take, like, ayahuasca or whatever it's called? Yeah, sometimes, but usually they're high up so that, like, animals can't get to them because they're, like, freaking out. Or gotcha. Yeah, if you are inviting me to a uh, wedding and there's not an open bar, just just know, give my invite to somebody else. Yeah, who am I, what am I supposed to do there? I'm supposed to what? Hang out with grandma? At what, have fun sober? Yeah. Doesn't happen Put with me. one foot in, one foot out, shake it all about, and then fucking uh, go eat shitty steak? No. You think that's what I'm going to sign yeah, up for? no shot. Absolutely no shot. I need 80 rum and cokes in me. No, that's not the way to do it, Joey. You're, You're right. fucking part of the problem here. Well, I don't drink rum open, and cokes. Open bar is this. You start, if it's top shelf, you have to get one of every type of drink. That's the rules of open bar. Frankie. And personally, I start extra dirty martini. 
You don't need to start there. What are you, James Bond? You don't need to like it. You don't An need extra to like it. dirty martini. You don't need to like it, but you start there. It sets the night because you're still in a classy mood where you're walking around and you're not fucking bop, 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 bop. You know, like you can just hold it and drink like that. Then you can go something less aggressive, you know, next. You know, you can go a fucking like... You know, a high, a whiskey highball or something, or you can go, you know, and then towards the end of the night when things are getting a bit of a, pro a big fat problem, that's when you do beers. That's when you do your fucking Long Islands. That's when you do your margaritas on the rocks. Let me tell you how most weddings go for me. Yeah. The wedding starts. Well, before the wedding starts, I have been drinking since. Yes, 10 that's the thing. If you show up to an open bar wedding not drunk, you've already lost. Yeah. Also, like most of the weddings that I feel like I've gone to, I've been like somehow a part of them. And usually we start drinking early. So I'm already pretty beard up. I get to this wedding. They say I do. I sprint down the aisle ahead of the bride and groom yeah. and hit the bar. Cocktail immediately hour? Immediately drop two shots. This is what people don't realize. Cocktail hour is where it's the most dangerous because that's where there's no rules. You can eat as much as you want, as long as you want. Not really as long. It's an hour. Yep. Sometimes longer. But the bar is like, that's destination one. Immediately, two shots. Mm -hmm. Right? Two shots of what? To any tequila. Okay. Whatever the fuck it is. Okay. Two shots of tequila, bang, bang, chicken wang. Then you grab a beer because you're like, I need to take a fucking break here. Get, yeah, you reach like a, a point where you're like, oh. You get two shots in you and you're like, if I had a mixed drink right now, then I'm really going to set a fucking crazy base. So I'm going to take it easier. Then you can't get like a Bud Light. And you take your time with that Bud Light. You walk around, you talk, hey, you know, and Gladys, where the fuck you people, you know, people you don't even know. Do you bring a flask? To winter weddings, yeah. Cool. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> because I have nowhere to put a flask. If I'm not wearing a jacket, but sometimes it's like cold. So I like, I'll put a flask in it. In the I've gotten, I've lost every jacket that I've worn to a wedding. But I've, I've, also brought a, I've also brought a flask to every single one as well. That'll do it. Um, and then, you know, I, I'll have a beer. But then, like at my brother's wedding, I started drinking beers. I had like four beers on the way to the thing. Or on the way to the church, I should say. And then on the way out of the church, probably another two beers. Then we got to the place, and uh, I had an IPA because he had like a little boat with like IPAs in it. Had an IPA in the in three fourths into that IPA, a waitress walks around. She goes, "Oh, you want a, a margarita?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, duh, yeah." I was spitting her. I'm like, "Were you asking me? <laughs> Give me it." You should have hit her at that point. Yeah, I just wanted to grab the plate. Like, do you? <laughs> so, uh, so I had that margarita, and I was like, mm, "Really good." Mm. I drank margaritas the rest of the night. You know what got me at, uh, at Dominic's wedding? Because I think that's the last wedding I've been to. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, 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 I'm pretty sure. No, I went to my friend's slides, but I didn't drink because I drove home. Um, Dominic's wedding. You know what got me? Cocktail hour. They had a sake station. So your boy thought he was fucking 18 years old in Hayama Hibachi back in college <laughs> sucking down sake like it was giving me money. Yeah, dude. And let me tell you, you don't realize it is just warm wine and it goes down exactly like warm wine. Delicious. Also, I put like seven of those back and then I found the oysters and the shrimp and then like a six more and I started calling people by the wrong name. Yeah. That's what did it. Or you start calling your aunts and uncles by their first name. Yeah. That's when I know I'm fucked up. Tony! I'm like, I'm like, hey, Deb, get over Tony, here. Tony, where's Lisa? Deb, get over here, yeah. you fat bitch. Oh, you know what I mean? Nah, she's in good shape. I got other fat aunts, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, you know? But that's the way. Like, if you... So, the... You start with the, you got to try a little bit of everything. You need to. I don't do this. You have to. Also, people who go to weddings like I'll get a crown royal. No, you have to get. If it's top shelf, you get top shelf. Dude, I can't I, tell I, you how many times I've gotten fucking. Oh, let me get a glass of Johnny Blue. Let me get it. Let me get a. Oh Jesus! If it's there and it's on, and they say they have it, I'm getting it. Those are drinks that I like want to sip on. And yeah, like, I'm not saying I throw it back. I sip on it. Yeah. That's cocktail hour. How you doing, Frankie? I have one speed at weddings. It's go 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 go. Yeah, I know. You know, there's no like Johnny Johnny Blue. Cool. Throw a lime in there. I'm fucking slamming it. Mm, okay. And then we're going to dance. Okay. Right now. As soon as you he listen. By the way, if there's a band, get out of my way. 
Just get out of my way. I don't way. think I've ever been to a wedding with a band. If there's a, a if there's a band at the wedding, get out of my way. I'm like a tornado. Really? And I can't stop drinking oh, either. Oh, I'm, I'm re- as soon as I hear the first fucking line of DJ God has fallen in love again, I'm there. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Who's baby bang, tonight? Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, man. I'm like, bro, line up 400 tequila shots. I, right I now. hate Pitbull, except for at weddings. Yeah. If I hear a single, I am... Put me to sleep yeah. then and there because I'm going to kill a child. Yeah, honestly, if you don't have Pitbull at your wedding, fuck you. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Let's be honest with each yeah, other. That's here. the way it is. But yeah. Hire Joey and I to be the fun people at your weddings. Yo, you know what I really want to do? I really want to crash a wedding, like, bad. I tried years ago and got removed from the venue. Wait, when, where? How? When I was in college... We would have formal, like, uh, so, like, the fraternities and sororities would have formal, which was basically just a... School dance. It's like a wedding. No, it was a party. Okay. I blacked out at one and and actively woke up in a chair, like... (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And, like, like fucking... I also woke up in a La Quinta Inn. It was just a wild time. I'm going to pretend to know what that is. It's It's like a hotel chain. Perfect. Uh, but there was there was always any venue we went to, there was always something going on, a wedding going on next door. Oh, okay. And I always tried to walk in and like go and party, and got removed from the venue two times. I feel like I could pull it off. I feel like we could pull it off. We could because you're famous. No, what? I can't because people would just be like, "Who's this fucking fat piece of shit?" <laughs> <laughs> just like sweaty. With a with a with a dirty martini, trying to come <laughs> to our wedding. It's like that dirty martini. He's dirtier than the martini. I'm telling you, I don't know. When's the next time we're gonna be at a wedding together? If there's a wedding going on, like another wedding going on at where we are, we're going in. No, and I, Joey will drop his name. He will name drop himself. He will not. Yes, you will, dude. I want to pretend to be a person like it who's not work. me. I tried. It won't work. I did crash a party once, like a frat party. Oh, how hard is that? It was surprisingly... Dude, wear a backwards hat and fucking... That's it. I went in. Say I, Saturday for the boys and you're in. I went... It was on a beach in, in Connecticut. And I walked in. And the guy was like, who the fuck are you? And I, and I was like, oh, I'm Frank. Frankie, I called myself at the time. And they were like, and who the fuck invited you? And I, I was just like, Tommy. The guy, it, literally, I swear to God. They were like, fucking Tommy. We got drinks in the fridge. Go get them. <laughs> and I walked to the fridge and b- grabbed a bottle of like Canadian whiskey. Canadian whiskey? It was what they had. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah, and it was a fucking good time. I want to go to like a real big wedding. Because then it's like harder to tell who's who. I want to like, you ever see like these stories of, like Bill Murray just like crashing parties? I kind of want to do that one day. Yeah. Well, actually, at my cousin's wedding, someone crashed it because it was at one of those places. That um, where there's like a bunch of weddings going on. Yeah. So this couple came and they were in there apparently, and they had like a photo booth. So they took pictures uh, in the photo booth, and you can like leave a note. So they left a note like, "Oh, we crashed your wedding, but it was awesome." I want to do that. I really want to do that. But like, from the times that I've seen people like that, I've heard of other people crashing. They get very hostile. They're like, "Who the fuck is that?" I get them the fuck out. Yeah, and I'll fuck them up. Yeah, like the dad of the brides. Like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill. It's like, bro. First of all, me, my wedding. My daughter so- gets married. Come on in, dude. If someone crashed my wedding, I'd be like, unless uh, unless they were like going crazy and like would have done, be like, all right, get the fuck out of here. But if they were just like having fun, and I'm like, I'm like, wait, who are you? And they're just like, oh no, we just crashed it. I'd be like, that's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah, let's fucking. You're rock. not. You're not the fucking. Majority here, Joey. You are very I just much so the minority. But why? What's the big deal? I agree. I do understand that, like people, could, like the venue can get upset because it's like well, you didn't pay for so many people, and like someone came and like it was an extra person it's drinking. A one person. Who knows? Gonna know. What I'm saying is, I, I, I'm with you. I think it would be hilarious if someone's just like, "Hey, congratulations! Don't know you crash the wedding." I'd be like, "Awesome. Keep hanging out." Yeah, I think it would only work in like gigantic weddings. Like I'm talking like. 350 to 450 people yeah because you there's bound to be people you do not know yeah and like when you see someone you don't know you, you're not gonna be like who the fuck is that like we should try and like you'd be like oh i just i, I assume that's a second cousin dude i go to a small weddings like with my own family that's like 70 people and there's people i don't fucking know yeah so 
I'd be like, oh, I assume that's someone's uncle or whatever. Also, getting away with it when you're like, also, you were a college kid, so that's, you know, whatever. But now it's like, yo, we're like at an age where people are getting married and like, you know, whatever. Also, if like an old dude crashes, bro, I'm going to turn 60 and crash. Wait. Yeah, you can't say anything to old people because then like you feel bad if like you get angry with them. Mm-hmm. But 100%, the moment I turn 55, I'm finding a wedding and I'm just fucking going in guns blazing. Yeah. Be like, remember the basement yard when it got canceled in 2021? <laughs> I was a co-host. <laughs> what? It's not going to happen, right? No. All right, cool. Um, anyway, Frank, where can they find you? Uh, hopefully at one of your guys' weddings, invite Joey and I, and we'll come and just, sh- just shit all over it. If, well, it's, if it's not too far. If you, if you're like, yo, I'm getting married in Brooklyn and we have nothing going on. I swear to God, I will try to get us to show up. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, F Alvarez 8085 <laughs> on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram, and then go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Yeah. I just want to piggyback off that. And if you do invite us and it's a cash bar, I will literally burn it down um don't invite us yeah what am i doing okay go follow the basement yard on instagram and tiktok at the basement yard and uh you know to reiterate the patreon patreon.com slash the basement you get every episode of the show a week in advance and you also get exclusive episodes every friday every week all right so go check that out patreon.com slash the basement yard and that is all see you guys next time bye bye bye